Good evening, everybody. I just want to say hello and hope everyone is doing well. And God bless you all. Oh, I just want to start off by saying that I got my Bible. So I'm going to be reading from it. And I hope everyone enjoys my little topic today because I've been watching so many videos and so many things that um, sound pretty absurd to me. And I just want to share a little bit because this is very important, especially with what's coming up ahead, you know, with the tribulation and everything. So, Throughout the video, I'll be explaining a little bit more, but this is definitely going to be for more of the ladies, the women, the wives, but also the males, the men, and the husbands, because at a time like this, especially when it gets harder, and harder <sighs> one must be a team and build each other so with that being said I want to read from Ephesians 5 um, 21 to 33 okay and this is advice to wives and husbands submitting yourselves to one another in the fear of God that alone I'll be like whoa but I will continue wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself for no man ever yet hated his own flesh but nourished it, nourished it and cherished it even as the Lord the church for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh this is a great mystery but i speak concerning christ and the church nevertheless let every one of you in particular so love his wife as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband. I started that because basically my video is be a team and build each other. But it's more than that. It's absurd of what I've been watching and hearing and even some people that are even around me, you know, not per se, but generalized, 
you can see. Basically, women, when your husband is doing what he must for the well-being of the family, let him do what he must for the safety and security, for he is the head of the household. Especially when it comes to preparation. So yes, I'm speaking of prepping. And there are women out there that will complain and nag and just be total female dogs, okay? Towards their husbands because they purchased something that will be security, safety, for the well-being of the whole household. And more likely I'm speaking of weapon, a gun, okay? Yes, guns, especially now, okay? For the ones who waited and probably did listen to their wives and didn't buy anything years ago, now are suffering because it's hard to purchase a weapon now. And if you even purchase a weapon, you're put on a waiting list, all right, for God knows how long, all right? And on top of that, you're spending triple, quadruple, or whatever more than what you would have spent years ago. And um, it's very sad because we are living and we've always lived in, in, in a place that's evil. There's darkness lurking everywhere in every corner, okay? And it's just sickening to me how a woman will just rather vanity in the sense of doing her nails or worrying about some crap, all right? Instead of letting her husband do what he has to do, yeah, the gun, all right, let's say AR-15. Back then, probably, what, 500? And if your military discount, take a couple on, you know, depending, the situation with you and the um, the gun, the gun on, um, not the gun owner, the one in the store purchasing. Right now, my mind is going a million. And it's crazy. Some that would have been like 500. It's like four, four G's right now. Even more, who knows? And don't even speak about the ammo. Whew. My husband be showing me this and I'm like, OMG. Thank goodness I wasn't one of those. <laughs> you know? And, um, weapons, especially men. Someone knock on your door, middle of the night. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Bat him to death? What are you gonna do, really? You need protection. And women, let them do what they gotta do. You know, I'm not here bashing nobody, but it's just, ugh. Oh my goodness, what I hear and what I see is just insane. But, um, a woman that complains of her husband prepping, you gotta think like, wow, what's up with her, man? Is she all right? You know, and I, I'm not even gonna make jokes, but. 
Oh man. My point of this is, if you don't enjoy the prep in which I don't understand why you wouldn't, because it's the safety of your family. It's when shit hits the fan, okay? Survival gear, survival. Oh my gosh, I'm getting just ahead of just thinking of this. I'm sorry, guys. Women, do you want to feel part of it? Do what you're good at then. Do your own prepping. Prep with food. Start canning foods, okay? Start stocking up, especially now that it's hard and it's gonna be hard in the coming months because this thing that's going on, you know what? And I don't want to mention names because people get flagged. But yeah, people getting sick from it. And that's gonna cause, again, quarantine. And then, if you're not prepped again, what are you gonna do? The only option is starve. Look at your children and nod your heads and say what failures you were. Nah, man, can't do that, y'all. You have to be and think proactive. You have to be there for your children, okay? If you're not, then who is? All right? Basically, So the smallest thing, garden, throw some seeds, water, and let me tell you something, it may sound so, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, but let me tell you something, once you see those vegetables, whatever, growing, and you're actually cutting it and rinsing it, yo, you are going to be, you're going to feel awesome. You know why? Because you help grow that. You were part of it. Be part of the prepping. Okay? Regardless if you like it or not, be part of it. You're not going to regret it. Okay? For years, my husband and I have been doing what we have to do, you know, and I'm just so grateful that my husband is proactive. My husband cares and loves us so very dearly, okay, that we're not having to be, and no disrespect, in no food lines, all right? We don't have to feel the suffering as sadly, sadly, sadly so many are because they're not prepping. They're not thinking of the future. They're not thinking of what's important, okay? And that's surviving, okay? Especially without the government's help, all right? So that's another thing, man. Get off that leash, okay? Cut yourself off, man. And, and learn independency, okay? Like I said, grow your stuff, man. Protect your own, you understand? You know? If you want to feel part of it, man, be part of it. You know, and a big thing, especially with the weapons. I understand that it could be fearful to have a gun in the home. Understood. Understood 100%. I got children, okay? But let me tell you something about our children. 
our children. We, we're real with them. All right. We teach them. We kill that curiosity quick. Okay. My kids, you got to teach them. Not, I'm, I'm talking me. I, we, my husband and I taught them about what this is, what it could do. Yo, they even saw what it could do when we went to the fire, when we went to the ranges and stuff like that. So they can see with themselves. This ain't no joke. This ain't no toy. This will hurt someone if mishandled because again guns don't kill people people kill people using guns so my point of this is you got to teach them all right educate them that's so crucial give them the knowledge that they need to know all right, so they themselves can learn from it and pass it on to their children, you know? And not only weapons and things like that, but food, got to prep with the food, guys. The smallest thing can be the biggest. I'm telling you, women, hygiene stuff, can't forget that. Can't forget that. Especially if you got daughters. Teenage daughters at that. And I'm talking, you know, wipes, of course, soap. And most important, ladies, pads. Okay? Because what are you going to do when <laughs> there ain't no store? What are you going to do when it's the time of the month? Gotta prep, man. You got to prep. Bleach. You could do numbers with bleach. Especially purifying water you can use bleach with. You know, little bit of it. <laughs> but you know, that's probably something, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll do something with my husband. You know, a video or something showing maybe something, you know. But for now, I'm sorry that this is going long. It's just it's so much and, and it just concerns me because some of it is, even my family members, man, I'm so sorry to say. They're like in a world that that's the problem. They live in a worldly life, thinking vanity, thinking this, thinking everything is gonna be okay. It's not, it's gonna get worse. Oh man, but educate yourself guys. Learn things you will not normally do as a routine. Get a motorcycle license. Cause let's say one day you walk and all of a sudden, Ain't nothing all of a sudden, well, there's a bike out of nowhere because you know how God works. He works in wonders. Guess what? You know how to ride it. You know, smallest things will be the biggest things. Learn to drive a dirt bike. <laughs> you know, but most importantly, back to the guns. 
Most women don't like it, whatever, because they probably don't shoot them. They're scared. I don't understand. Maybe that's one thing that, you know, I'm very thankful. Because, man, let me tell you something. I love, I love it. Me and my husband, we will shoot. We will do this. You know, he teaches me everything. I, how to clean it. How to load. How to, oh, everything. But this video is not about me. You know, all I know is learn to draw your weapon. And that goes for men too. Learn to draw your weapon. Because the first to draw will win the gun battle. Because that's crucial. And that's one thing my husband always had me do. He, even if it's just walking around the house, have it in my holster, and, you know, without anything on it, you know, unloaded. And even if it was loaded, I'm responsible, and I know how to handle it. But dry. Draw dry. Get good at it. You know why? So your mind, when it comes to that moment, your first instinct is to draw. It's gonna come automatically, you know? And you gotta think of it like this, guys. Let's say something like that happens. And you're not quick. All right? They take you out. And now it's your wife that don't know how to shoot, don't know how to do nothing. Because she didn't want to take the time to learn. She was so scared. I don't know. Or maybe you didn't teach her. You felt that there was no value in teaching your wife how to protect the household because you felt like you were irresistible or something. I don't know. Untouchable. I don't know. And um, I'm just coming up with, with stuff, guys. Um, they take you out the game. They take you out the game. You're laying there. Now what? Four men come and it's, and I'm gonna use it, me and my girls. Then what? Hmm? What you think's gonna happen? They ain't gonna play card games. You gotta think. And that's why it comes to us so important to teaching your kids. Teaching your kids the responsibility. All right? And know the facts and the truth of what goes down. Especially in a time like that. Hostile. Definitely hostile. <sighs> All I say, guys, um, and this is for both women and men, respect and love one another because your circle now is own is the only thing that matters no outsiders it's your circle because that's what's going to be with you when shit goes when when when, when things are are happening nobody else Please teach your women and women listen to your men for he is the head of the house.
and you love him as you love the Lord. Right? Telling you, man. Go out with him. I don't know about now, because rounds are expensive. All right? And you can't be wasting them. But if you can, take them out. Go shoot. Learn. It'll save you. And not only that, it'll comfort you with knowing that you get that knock on the door, guess what? Both of y'all are gonna hold shit down. Together. A team building each other. Yeah, it's gonna feel like, you know, a battle that it's like you ain't gonna win at times. But your circle, man, your circle is only complete with all of you in the same game, in the same mentality, in the same train of thought. There ain't no hesitations when it comes to saving your lives or defending your lives at that. You know, and I made a video with how defending yourselves is biblical. Check it out. I throw straight verses up in there. You know, respect, love one another because your circle is now the only thing that matters. What the Lord blessed you with, the Lord won't give you a battle you can't handle. Yeah, it's gonna feel like like it is, you know, like, man, what the? And sadly, that's when people give up. Sorry to say, kill themselves. Or rather live in sin for the rest of their life. But like, let's say if Oh man, my wife this, my wife that, oh, and my husband this, my husband that, and they just can't see eye to eye, whatever, for some reason, and they're gonna go and divorce. Which is worldly. Okay? And then they're gonna add a strange person into the mix, living in an adulterous life. Involving their children in this fiasco. Which my friends, family, the Lord is extremely against that. And it's one of his commandments. So it's up to the person to hit on, hit hard, hit on, hit head on. Whether it might be and continue and continue the fight. Continue the fight. It can be worse than what the Lord what the Lord went through can be worse. Whatever's going on in your lives right now cannot be worse.
the Lord went through such horrific sacrifice, suffering for each and every one of us. Regardless how hard it is, my friends, pick up that cross. Pick up the cross and walk, walk, and walk, run, jog, whatever you want. Pick up that cross. And endure together as husband and wife. Most importantly, learn together. Learn together. Learn together to grow, to become stronger. And hold each other tall and tightly. There is a reason why things are the way they are. Why things are so tough. I tell you this because together, as husband and wife, you're unstoppable. You hear that? You're unstoppable. And the evil knows that you're unstoppable together. And the evil knows that if you're torn, he can drown you. Take you through the broad path in darkness. Instead, of the narrow path towards light, towards righteousness, walking with the Lord, having a marriage spiritually. It's every day and every day that is going to be a constant battle against the light and darkness. It's up to you guys to choose the path you want. We choose the path of the Lord. And I pray you are too. Especially with everything that's going on. And it's just going to get worse. And it could be even worse. You can lose a loved one. Then what? Watch what you say. Watch what you do. Because there's one person that definitely, definitely knows everything. It's your father. The Lord, our creator. And he put this path within you because he knows you can do it. He knows what you're capable of. And that's the downfall that we have to learn. But you know what? Once you get there, all you're going to do is look up and say thank you. And you thank him all the time. Even if you're not there yet. You will get there. And let me tell you something. Patience. Patience. He loves patience. Let me tell you something. He'll bring it to you, man.
I want to tell you what team means to me. To execute, achieve, and monitor is what teamwork is to me. And um, I just have a little bit of verses here that I just want to read towards the end. And, you know, you got to learn from each other. And just know the Lord's the Lord got your back. Whoa. Man, he got your back. Okay. First Timothy. No. Sorry. First Peter. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Look for it. Okay. You know what? Since I found Timothy first, I will read Timothy first. So, Timothy 5 8. A big reason why I say provide for your wives and your family and for each other is because 1 Timothy. Chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and specifically for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel, which is a non believer. I don't want to be that person, and I'm not that person. Definitely not that person. Um, I got Timothy. I'm sorry, because I have it written down and I'm trying to see at the same song. First Peter. Let me get to Peter. Okay. And I'm getting there. First Peter three. Chapter 3, verse 7. Okay. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Teamwork. Build each other. Guys. Gals. Okay. I got another one for you. Hebrew 13.4. For there, for here, have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Marriage, 13.4, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. Something to think about. And then I have, sorry guys, I have a bunch of stick notes. Proverbs 28, 18. Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Don't be that person to fall. Teach 
learn together. John 14, 15. And look guys, it's in red. So you know what that means, right guys? The Lord directly speaketh this. So, John 14, 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Yep. That's a good one, guys. I think I'll cut it short for now. I have so many I can read, but I just know this is 41 minutes. <laughs> Even though, like I said before in my other videos, there's no limit. There's no limit into learning the Lord or learning any knowledge, anything, especially from our Bible. So I just want to close by saying, guys, respect, love, Build each other. Use our team. A circle. A circle. A circle. A circle. <laughs> All right, guys. And when SHTF hits, nobody got your back. But you know who. Of course, the Lord walking his narrow path towards righteousness, following his law, living uh, as best as you can, you know, do what you got to do. Men love your wives, wives love your men, and women, 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 women. Reverence your husband. Back him up. Back him up in everything he needs to do. Back him up. Don't think about how much, what this, why, why, why. Forget about it. Let him do what he gotta do. Big reason, that's the Lord speaking to him. Guiding him to be the man he's supposed to be and take care of you and the family, all right? And guess this, women, yo, it's fun learning from your husband, especially when it's something so serious, because it ain't fun of games. It's knowledge and wisdom of knowing and believing that, yo, yeah, we must pray. We must do everything we have to. But also, the Lord told us, defend yourselves, defend your life. Watch my video, guys. I I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's uh, defending yourselves is biblical. Or biblical is defending something like that. But right now, my mind is going a million. <laughs> I got so much to say, but I have to cut it short because it's 43 minutes already. So, please, guys, please do what you got to do for your families, all right? For your family. Y'all one team, okay? You're one team. One team, guys, all right? I will let it be. So, let me close out with a prayer. I pray to the Lord. For everyone's safety and security and i pray that the lord gives wisdom and knowledge to each and every one of you and shed the light to whomever don't see but feel that something's wrong just man when the light's there run to it man because in the end of the light guess what it's his hand the lord the lord is gonna grab you tight okay and I pray that everyone has a meal, has shelter. And I just pray that everybody 
has security. All right? And most of all, some peace. Peace and security. Okay? Hand in hand, baby. So, do what you must. And I pray to the Lord that he helps everyone that asks for it. Because remember, you have to ask for it for him to give. So, with that, thank you, my Lord, for all the blessings. All the blessings. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bye, guys.